Well, after a multitude of Kern County games were canceled yesterday due to that extreme heat, we were treated to a few today as two local teams traveled south. Twitter ABC Stephen Hicks has a full recap of today's games from Mission Viejo High School. Well, it's just week two, but already two big tests for Kern County teams. The Bakersfield High Drillers, the D1 Valley Champs last season, taking on an Orem side out of Utah that's ranked top 10 in the state of Utah. But we begin with the game of the night here at Mission Viejo. The Garces Rams taking on St. John Bosco, a team ranked second in California. We'll get this. According to the paper, 35 players on the Garces team. Meanwhile, Bosco has 28 Division I college commitments already. That should give you the feel for the kind of night it would be over. Opening drive, Rial Mitchell with some nifty moves there. Opening score, Braves just getting started. Next possession, Demetrius Flowers. He's going to be a Sun Devil next year, but right now he's making it 14 0 Bosco. Rams offense, not much better. Joseph Campbell's pass is tipped and intercepted. Stephen Blaylock on the interception return, and he cannot be stopped en route to the house. And before you could even blink, this game was 21-0. We're still in the first later. Rams trouble with the handoff. Spencer Gilbert able to scoop it up and score. So a running clock will get started not long after. The Rams simply outclassed today. But for Coach Gass, it was still a learning experience. I'm hoping they take away the fact that there's a whole other level of football that can be played. We train and we work hard. Um, but do we do the other things as far as eat right? I mean, are we watching enough film? Are we taking our game to the next level? Uh, that's what I'm hoping that they kids understand tonight is that, you know, we do a lot of things well, but, but to be elite, you got to do everything well. Well, the early game was hot, so shaded seats were something of a luxury with temps in the upper 90s. Orem jumping out to a quick 14-0 lead, but the drillers would rally. Cam Williams able to escape pressure, finds a wide open Isaac Jernigan. Later, Williams again able to find time and space airing it out and finds Taj right in stride the touchdown that ties the game at 21 apiece but just before the break Orange quarterback Cooper Legas takes not one but two hits in the backfield able to stay on his feet and score Tigers take a seven point lead into the locker room second half drillers just couldn't get a stop Raphael Cooper taking the rock and taking it untouched to the end zone drillers down 21 at that point and it was a tough day overall after the game coach Gola said his team needs to go back to the drawing board on defense that was not a driller tackling team for sure we had him wrapped up several times and, and just let him go and and that needs to be a number one goal for us on, on when we get back to practices we got to drive for five it's not good enough just to hit somebody you got to run through somebody I just hope our kids come back I want to get better that's that's what I hope because I, I thought we got worse this week so it's a tough drive back to Bakersfield for both schools here coach Gola calling out his players a little bit wanting a bigger commitment from them in practice you've got 13 days to figure it out before facing the seventh ranked Chaminade side in West Hills meanwhile this Garces team is going to head up the mountain next Next week to take on to Hatchby. For now, at Mission Viejo High School, Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC Sports.